So, these cunts are like that across the board. Um, from top to bottom of the tar pit trap, where the bottom is actually the top. You know, and the ones who, are, who think they're at the bottom are the ones who have the opportunity to be free. But they'll never be free. And they're obsessed with deluding themselves they're free because they're free of remorse, right? Yet they keep on getting punished. And they're so imbecilic, they get up and repeat the exact same crime that they'll be punished for, the sin they'll be punished for, um, due to the moral return, the law, which returns what you put out, simple as that. Um, and I've gone into it in some detail in, in many of my posts, which you can read if you go there, and then uh, click on the American football helmet. And it takes you to my, many of my posts and what you can read is an article called Measure Yourself, where I lay out their entire psychology. And I've got other videos, like I say, Errol on Pathology, Errol on Psychopaths, Errol on Narcissism, and Errol on Paraphiliacs. Um, and in a nutcake, um, uh, you know, um, uh, it's really important for you to understand the psychology of these worthless wee spastics with shite for their brains, who are unitards, right? Like I say, because these fucking pieces of garbage, if their behaviour isn't appropriate, rid yourself of them, right? Even if you feel maybe lonely or isolated or whatever, rather that than their fucking company. Because I assure you, uh, they see themselves as being energy vampires, right? Behind that, the subhuman cunt just sees itself as being narcissistically depressed and, you know, you've got more than your fair share of happiness. So um, they are entitled to try and psychologically abuse you by pecking at the nerves in your prefrontal cortex. I assure you they're evil. Right? They might not think that they're evil. Behind it, the imbecile always peddles its pity play, as did Ted Bundy, right? obsessed with his pity play, obsessed with preying on the parts of the brain he lacked function in, which allowed him to delude himself he was free until he was being electrocuted, so, uh, or, or however they put him down, I think it was electrocution. And, you know, like Myra Hindley, she thought she was free and spent 36 years in prison, you know, and died there. You know, they think they're free uh, until consequence that they are too stupid to be able to foresee. Uh, hits them in the face one way or another, they cannot escape it. And all the serial killers I've studied in person, um, all resonated the exact same way when I spoke to them about punishment. It really resonated with them because it's like a delivery, you know, that starts as soon as they sin. And the delivery is proportionate to your awareness of your intention. So the more aware you are of your intention, uh, the more you're punished. Which is why the, the more moral you become and the more rewards you get, and I, I keep getting phenomenal rewards, you saw one earlier on, peace. And um, if you stray, then you're punished, and the punishment can be big. Um, and so I, I take it on the chin, you should take blame for anything you're, you're guilty of, and I assure you, you're likely to then find you're innocent. Right? And so it's only if you do love truth uh, and pursue that uh, and don't deviate from that, follow the truth. And I'm, I'm probably preaching to the choir because you no doubt are where you are because of your love of truth. Um, so, it's really quite simple. If you want to recover, right, there are simple techniques you can use. One, take a deep breath whenever you think you're about to have an emotional reaction, number one, right? To my director. So, um, uh, number two, um, if a recollection of somebody you'd want to kick fuck out of comes back to you, right? Bat it away, you know, as I just did. Bat it away. Right? Don't pay them any mind. They're fuck all. They're, they're not with you when you suffer most. So, deep breath, right? Bat it away and continue being you hopefully creative in some way, or leisurely enjoying yourself. Treat yourself if you can, if you can afford it, treat yourself. Um, and, you know, if you can afford something luxurious, whatever it might be, treat yourself, right? Because you need to get strong again. And you may be exhausted 
even if you go for a walk somewhere. However, remember, if there's a stressful situation, distance yourself from it. You don't have to stay there and endure it, right? Deep breath, distance, whether it be from a memory, just swat it away. And if you seem to be answering cat calls inside your head, right, swat them away, especially if they've got very familiar voices. Familiar. So, in a nutcake, you know, uh, the, there's loads of reasons why you could have PTSD, but it's just basically nerve exhaustion. So you want those nerves to not be stressed for any reason at all. And so, if you can get a sick line, you know, and whatever you can do, try and stay away from people. Try and stay away from stressful situations. Try and just watch comedy. My other videos, uh, and basically, um, uh, do your level best to, to not just try to actually do what I'm advising you. Just, and it's really simple. Picture this, right? A wee, cheeky, inbred, hate-consumed, hell-bound, evil whore who's a pity play peddling faux martyr walks up to you and says, You're as ugly as fuck. Right? You are what I am. Transference. That, that's what she's saying. Right? Do you have to have any reaction at all? Do you? Let's try it again, right? Right? You've got a giant nose and it's ugly as fuck. Anything? You're just witnessing a sinner damn their soul to hell for eternity. Even if you don't believe in a void where they're dragging themselves down into. You don't have to have any reaction. You don't even need to take a breath, although I'd advise one, you know. Smiling destroys them. You know, at four and a half I discovered uh, if you just say fuck off you wee dick, you know, that destroys them because all their tissue of bullshittery uh, becomes nothing if you just dismiss them and see them exactly as they are. Now I've studied them selflessly um, uh, in every situation you can imagine and I'll be exposing them throughout the rest of this series um, where uh, in person both male or female serial killers um, beasts of all kinds, corrupt, uh, fake scum who stand in front of you and pretend to be your authorities and blah 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 blah. Um, uh, also uh, online um, subhuman fucking garbage with shit full of brains who are all obsessed with uh, trying to cause humans the envy, post-traumatic stress disorder, um, for sexual pleasure and the illusion that transference is magically taking place. Even when the imbecile knows it isn't uh, the, the, or hasn't, I've witnessed them still ejaculating, you know, and that's something you might not realise, uh, that um, Hitler was renowned for uh, ejaculating, as you see in Earl of America, um, he ejaculated in public uh, at his Nuremberg rallies, um, it was just a pantomime, and he got off on all the evil involved in that, and so, in a nutcake, these people, when they behave in a manner towards you that they need to be shot through the fucking mouth for, the Ventral Tegmental Reward Centre uh, lights up like a Christmas tree and they ejaculate. And uh, the less function they have there, the more likely you are to see them do this. Just like Anthony Hopkins showed you, right? They genuinely believe that they're sucking energy out of you, right? But they're just pathetic, low-life rodents, really, in human form. And that's an insult to rodents, actually. So regaining your happiness um, um, is going to take time. However, the first step uh, is to realise, you know, that you mustn't have an emotional reaction anymore uh, or respond to the cat calls from your memory or the ugly, hideously ugly faces of the garbage who are envious of you and determined to pretend prove uh, what they pr would prefer to think was reality. Because remember, without frontal brain function, they lack the mental equipment to exist in reality at all. So anything they would prefer to think is just as valid as reality, especially if the dunce can get, you know, you 
to believe whatever the imbecile would prefer was reality. Uh, and then believes it's controlling your perception of reality. <coughs> and then the remorseless arsehole can go back to deluding itself at something it's not. And it's got existential pretenge against you uh, because it's your fault it felt bad about being envious of you. Think about that. Felt bad when it has no feelings. Right? What it did was it felt like killing Yehoshua of Nazareth. Right? And basically, the reason being, whenever it feels like wanting to kill someone, all it is is it's got an urge to kill. Right? And then it doesn't like that by choice and blames you. Right? So basically, it's your fault it got an urge to kill you because by its own calculation, its cold calculation, it's your fault it got an urge to kill. Right? And then fricasseed, and it does get negative neurochemicals flowing from that. And it can take a while to recover. So think about that. It's jealousy and envy which you must distance yourself from. Socially, physically, geofucking graphically. Yeah? Just like you are evolutionarily. So, the point is, uh, when that fucking shite, that subhuman, primordial, bird-brained streak of fucking shit, right, is envious of you, it gets an urge to kill you. And that becomes your fault. So by you lacking in arrogance, associating with garbage who you afford 200% extra respect to, who afford you 200% less respect than you deserve, um, that's your gratitude, that's your thanks for your lack of arrogance, your compassion. Yeah, you feel it in your body, right? And, and, and your love and your sentimentality. And as I'll like, expose an Earl on Friends with a Silent R, um, all the worthless fucks that I let into my life were all jealous of me. And most of them had no other friends for a reason. And people said to me, Earl, don't associate with those fucking pieces of shit. And I felt sympathy and pity for them. And they would try pity plays. They're very, very nasty characters. Some of them were just ordinarily uh, nasty characters. Um, uh, uh, and for example, it's the end result of what Zionist Jews have bred. So in other words, uh, as I've said, five out of every ten people who pass you in the street who are over a quarter of a century old um, are uh, maniacs. Um, and given any opportunity, they will prove that fact to you. Uh, for example, three of every four uh, North Americans polled uh, admitted to being a troll, right? For years, they are so lacking in self-awareness, they publicly admitted they're a troll. They're not human. They're an animal in human form. They're a bird, right? Obsessed with pecking orders, pecking and trying to cause you brain damage to get what they want, unless they're somatic, and then they physically whack them all. You know, um, that's them to a T. So like I say, um, think about that. Americans being so fucking stupid, they admit on record, three out of every four, that they definitely are a troll. <laughs> and it's very true neuroanatomically, because at the rotten core of their tiny, tiny brain, you know, they have these wee proto-emotions and above it sits the neocortex and that's who you are. And that wee aloof prick uh, pretends to itself uh, that, you know, everything that's happening out in reality is not of importance, blah, 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 which is why it keeps suffering uh, blow after blow from the consequence of people out there, as well as from the moral law, uh, which uh, pounds people who are arrogant <laughs> and... Uh, uh, ironically, shite like that, pretend you're arrogant, and as I've said already, when you prove you're not, the cunt should then chillax, but it doesn't, you know, it then just gets pretend because it is envious of you and pretends any bad experience it has mentally with this urge control issue the cunt lost in infancy due to its determination to get off on preying on people channeling its hatred until it's ingrained in a rigid, hardened, oloplastic defence mechanism which, as I've said, becomes a sex offender uh, over time. This worthless fucking arrest-developed imbecile, right? When it feels like killing you, it's your fault. When it feels like killing those people, it's your fault, right? 
you have homicidal lunatics, right, who are the vast majority now in the West, right? So that's five of every ten people who walk past you are homicidal maniacs, right? That's two out of every three females is a homicidal maniac. And she genuinely thinks she's magically doing you a favour by the more sophisticated approach, which is being a cerebral sex offender. Like, as I didn't know for four fucking decades, my so-called mother uh, is a paedophile. Until I met a self-confessed female paedophile. And uh, what they ideally hope is that you don't know that that's possible. However, um, everybody else on earth knows what Western females are, except Western males. Right? Think about that. Right? Almost three quarters of the Earth's population sees Western females and thinks they are the scum of the fucking Earth and need shot through the face. Your ancestors would have taken today's females and routinely fucking executed all of them who are in that demographic. That's um, two out of every three. An additional quarter would have been kept in the fucking house, right? Or in the back garden, on a fucking chain in the kennel with a blonde. So the point is this. Instead, though, Jews have done it again, just like the Romans did before them, that they copied and emancipated them from nothing. Emancipated them from being protected from themselves, yeah? Because they're on self-destruct amongst others mode. Right? They have no self-awareness, no cognizance of future consequence. They are jabbering pieces of fucking shite so that if they can control you and con you into an emotional uh, and physical reaction, right, that has a negative, long-lasting, traumatic effect on you. The worthless, stupid fucking cunt thinks it's altered reality. Nothing changes. So what if, if she's conned you or, or he's conned you? Nothing changes in reality. They're still a fucking evil, worthless cunt, you know. Nothing changes about their DNA or mental makeup. In fact, they get bloody worse, yeah. So... And they can become ruthless and determined and so on and so forth. So, the moral law is something to not be sniffed at. Right? As I assure you, uh, it's very, very real, as is gravity, uh, yet another invisible law. If you don't believe in it, well, you're going to suffer. Yeah, you're going to keep heading for a fall again and again. And, you know, your treasures may fall in. So, um, in a nutcake, um, the scum that you share a country with, right? Remember this. Uh, White people were kicked out of every fucking country and left since Africa, as I covered in previous videos. So, so in a nut cake, they then bred some goodies who are of their own. So they then said, okay, this is great, are we getting that? Oh, that's brilliant, that's fantastic. Then the envy started and those people had to flee or were genocided. So what you're left with is a bunch of inbred trolls. <laughs> right? And that just fucking leads to black holes. There was a vortex under any pecking order, I assure you, right? Which is why they dug up the pyramids when they found them. <laughs> if you go to Italy, you know, there's just ruins, you know? And that's what uh, these pieces of garbage, who are magical thinking, s extremely self-deluded, arrogant scum, uh, who project everything they possibly can incontinently uh, at those they should be affording 200% more respect to and should be afforded 200% less respect by. So, this hasn't been funny, <laughs> but it's because it's, I, I want you to get better. And I've got so many other videos which are really funny, you know, and um, if I do say so myself, that still wasn't funny. So the thing is that what I want you to do is get better and it's really simple, as I've said. You have a fight or flight mechanism and these pieces of fucking shit are obsessed with targeting it. They are fuck all, Baton. They are worthless, insignificant streaks of shit who are bloody losers, who are punished, right, uh, for all their sins and they keep on getting worse and they're the embodiment of the sins of their forebears, right, and they want to keep on going in that direction, right. And as I've said in a previous video, their, their forebears are shouting out to them from the void, for fuck's sake, pull us up, you know. But no, they intend to go down uh, in that direction. Fuck them, right? You are better than that, right? And it's a fact, right? You should not be associating with that fucking shite, right? Fact, right? Now, I don't know whether you're male or female, however, you're, you're more likely to be male. There's 10% cake rations, and you are locked in the house on 
jealousy rations, right? That's really what's behind it, you know, existential envy and jealousy. And garbage like that are obsessed with trying to pin it on you, right? So, for example, they're a cunt who's wasted your fucking time, you know, and they want to pin that on you, and any tiny point they can dramatise will do. So, for example, you lose your temper eventually. Magically, that predates their unholy instigations towards you promiscuously. As I've said, my so-called uh, younger sibling and so-called mother, right, they would attack until you eventually you know, gave them a breath of consequence, which then magically, uh, in their uh, maniacal bird brain, predates all their countless instigations and, and promiscuous, uh, continual uh, provocations, right? um, persistence. And this is what they want, they're trying to provoke this to get excitement in the bird brain. And since the cunt sees itself as being an innocent martyr, uh, therefore, when you correctly treat them, not just as a dumb animal or a bird brain, you correctly see them as they are and you tell them the fucking truth, it destroys them. Which I recognised when I was four and a half, right? Which is when I first started studying what I first thought were idiots, right? Director, take a seat. Take a seat. I'll fucking sack you, you cunt. Right? Sack you. So anyway, the point is, right? Because that scumbag uh, knows it's inferior to you because of its envy and jealousy, uh, the cunt can then pretend you're arrogant when it's the epitome, the neuroanatomical construct and pathologically ingrained construct of megalofucking mania, narcissism and arrogance. It doesn't get more maniacal and egomaniacal than inventing an imaginary second self and punishing other people because of it. Because you walk about wanting to kill people all the time. That's what they do. They want to pin that on you, right? Right? It's got fuck all to do with you, you know? They're scum. They're just looking for a human punch bag for which they need shot through the fucking face. I repeat, these fucking pieces of garbage behind it all genuinely bullshit themselves. They're a good person. They talk constant fucking shite to themselves. They're the scum of the fucking earth. And when you reflect them even slightly as they truly are, the cunt then has its excuse to pretend that magically predates all their instigations which were born of jealousy, which, once again, when you correctly reflect them as they are, uh, the spastic then pretends you're arrogant, pretends you're the construct that they are, right? You are what they are. They're fucking obsessed, these pieces of fucking dirt, of saying you are what they are. They're shite, right? They're high-functioning fucking shite, right? Rolf Harris stood in front of you and painted like fuck, live on television. <laughs> right? Very tellingly, a human head, a human looking head on an animal's body, hiding in plain view. Human looking head, animal body, inside a fucking animal, right? And on the other channel, <laughs> as it happens, you, you had another paedophile. And then on another channel, and there was only very, very few because they want all your attention, these hollow whores who see you as being supply as their energy vampires. You had another guy going, <laughs> constantly, uh, on, it's a knockout, right? And then on, the only other channel, you know, was another guy uh, introducing pop songs, and he was a paedophile, right? You, you start to get the bigger picture, right? Paedophiles are all wired backwards. They're all female, mental quadriplegics, in a male body. They don't develop beyond three and talk constant shite to themselves and pretend somebody else is to blame for everything they're guilty of and remorseless about with no feeling in their body, no frontal brain function at all. And that fucking shite can stand in front of you and just lie because they don't feel fear about it, right? And they recognise that this seems to work. So they will just keep on uh, lying um, and getting what they want. Gimme, 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 And if they can't get what they want, they will kill you. And that's it. They will prey on you. They are birds of prey. And you may have noticed this already with females who match this demographic. Not the 10%, right, um, um, <laughs> Lizzie. Ha ha ha, Lizzie's in the 10%. Ha ha ha, she, no feelings though. You know, she can fall an enormous, I feel like going after her with a cushion, right? I've said this before, like, she can fall a huge height, smack her head a dillion, land on something. You go, oh no. And she just gets up, shakes her leg and goes, 
felt note. You know, and and she, off she goes again. That, that time she then makes this almighty leap and manages it. The second time, she's that confident. Amazing. So, 